Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of prism. As whenever we came across the word prism, a concept that comes in our, in our mind is triangular shape that is actually a three dimensional triangular shape. But this is not so. Prism is not only a 3D triangular shape. Today I will clear your concept that what other shapes can be a prism or you can say that the, there are other shapes that are also prism other than that. 3D triangular shape. So, prism is basically a shape that have certain properties. So, the first property of the shape prism is it must be a 3D shape. So, for a prism, it should be a 3D shape, not a two-dimensional, three-dimensional shape. This is the first property of the shape to which we can call a prism. So, a 3D shape. The next property of the prism is two identical shapes facing each other called bases. Don't get confused about this point. I will draw the shape and I will prove that this property must be in the prism, in the shape of the prism. So, for the time being, you can leave this point. I will draw the shape, then I will discuss this point. In a prism, there must be two identical shapes that face each other and those shapes are called bases. Now, the third property of the prism is it must be a polyhedron. That means it's all faces must be flat. There should not be any curved face or in the prism. So, if you came across a curved face in the in a shape, then that shape will not be a prism. So, all faces of the prism should be flat. This is the third property of the prism. Then, what is the fourth property? The uniform cross section across its length. It means, it means there that whenever you take a cross section view of the prism it should be the same doesn't matter from where you take so let's draw the shape of the prism and then you will understand it so this is the shape of a prism that we mostly came across in our labs and or whenever we came across in our life that we, that we can uh, call a certain shape a prism then we usually refer to this shape this is the most common shape of the prism that we usually we uh, that we have seen usually but this is not the only shape of the prism. I want to clear your concept today about it. That this is not the only prism. Prism can have a shape other than this. There are different types of the prism. And it all depends on the shape of its base. Now what is base? So let's discuss the, the above four properties of the prism on this shape. First property is a 3D shape. So it is a 3D shape. It is clear from here that this is a three dimensional shape. There is no other thing about it. The second property is two identical shapes facing each other called bases. Now, what are the two identical shapes? So, let me highlight those shapes. This is one and this is the second. These are the two identical shapes that are triangles and they are facing each other. And these are called the bases. This is a base and this is also a base. So, on the basis of the shape of these ba two bases, prism is further classified into different shapes. So, we cannot say that this is the only shape of the prism. Now, this was the second property of the prism that two bases facing each other having the same shape. Then, we have the third property of the prism that is polyhedron. It must have all the flat faces. Now, it's clear from this diagram that there is no curve in this shape. So, all the faces should be flat as there are two triangles and the other faces are rectangle in shape. So, this uh, property is also clear now. The other one is uniform cross section across its length. If we take the cross sectional view of this shape, what we will get? Let's see. We will get a triangle. So, if we cross section this prism from any place, we will get the same triangle because there is a uniform cross section across its length. So, it doesn't matter whether we take the cross section at this place, at from this place or from this place. We will see a same triangle. So, this is also must be a property of the prism. So, if these four properties are met, then the given shape is a prism. So, let's see what other shape that you can call a prism. This is very important. So, here we have a cuboid. This is also a prism. Isn't it amazing for you that you can say that cuboid is also a prism? Yes, it is. Now, let's verify it with the help of its properties. First property is it must be a 3D shape. So, it is a 3D shape. It is clear from here that it has the length, breadth 
and the height. So this is the 3D shape. Second property is two identical shapes facing each other. Now let's see where are the two identical shapes. This is the one that is the rectangle and the other is this one that is also a rectangle. So it means these two faces that are called the bases are facing each other and both are identical in shapes. Then this second property is also proved. Then polyhedron. All the faces must be flat. So it's clear here that all the faces of the cuboid are flat. There is no curve in the cuboid. In order to understand well about the properties of the cuboid, I have already formed lectures on the cuboid. So you can refer to them. I have also made a lecture on cube and cuboid difference. You can refer to that. Then uniform cross section across its length. If I take the cross section view of this shape, what I will get is a rectangle. And it doesn't matter from where I uh, I am taking the uh, taking its cross section view. It will be the same. So all the four properties are proved, and we can say that cuboid is the prism. So these are the bases. This is one base, and the, this is another base. Bases of the cuboid. And you can also call it a rectangular prism. We can call it a rectangular prism on the basis of the shape of it, its base. So this is also a prism. This is a type of prism. So it means you can have other shapes that are that you can call a prism. Now let's move towards another type that will also be very amazing for you. Cube is also a prism. How amazing it is that today we have came to know that other than the triangular prism, we have cube and cuboid as well that we can call them a prism. This is also a prism. Now, why cube is a prism? We have the reason. Let's see. So, cube is also a prism because it's a 3D shape. It has two identical shapes facing each other called bases. How? This is the one base and this is another base. So, these are the two bases of the cube that are identical in shape and facing each other. Then, it must be a polyhedron. Yes, it's a polyhedron. It has all the faces that are flat. There is no curve in the cube. And uniform cross, uh, cross section across its length. Yes, if we take its cross sectional view, what we will get? We will get a square. And we will get a square from if we take its cross sectional view from anywhere. So, you can also call it a type of the prism that is square in shape. Or you can say square prism. As we have triangular prism, as we have rectangular prism, we, uh, we also have a square prism. And its shape is uh, ba based on the, the shape of the base. So, as we have a square base, so it is called a square prism. So, other than this, we also have another shape that you can call a prism. So, another type of the prism is a pentagonal prism. Now, this is a shape that is having a shape of the base having the five corners. Now, if I take the cross-sectional view of this shape, what I will get is this shape. So, this is a pentagonal prism and it is also proving all the properties that a prism is required. It is a 3D shape. It has two identical faces that are facing each other like this is one face that is called a base this is another that is called a base and both of them are facing each other and are identical in shape these are this, this is a polyhedron having all the flat sh flat faces and a uniform cross section across its length now there is a shape that is having three of the pro above properties but not the one so let's see what is that shape that you cannot call a prism there is a shape Let's see. So here we have a shape that is called a cylinder. Now let's see is the cylinder a prism or not. Now first of all we have to say, it well, say we have to check whether it's a 3D shape. Yes, it's a 3D shape. So out of four properties one tick is here. Yes, it's a 3D shape. Two identical shapes facing each other. Yes, this is the one circle and this is another circle. So we have two identical shapes facing each other called bases. Second property is also fulfilled. Then we have a uniform cross section across its length. Yes, if we take its cross section, we will we will have a what we will have we will have a circle throughout its length. So it means this property is also fulfilled. Now what about the third property? Polyhedron, all flat faces. No, cylinder is not a polyhedron. It has a curved surface. It has a curved surface. So, you cannot say that the cylinder is a prism. So, cylinder is not fulfilling the third property of the prism that, that is polyhedron. It must have all flat faces. But in cylinder, we don't have the flat faces. We have a curved shape in the cylinder. So, this is clear from today's lecture that for a prism, we need these four properties. And prism is not only a, uh, a shape having the triangular base, but prism is the shape having all these four properties it could be of any shape it could be 
a triangular, it could be a square or rectangle or hexagonal or pentagonal if all the four properties are fulfilled. So from today's lecture, hope so your concept rega uh, regarding the prism is cleared now. So that's all from today's lecture. In our next lecture, we will see how you can find the surface area of the Thank you.